So how did you come about your style of painting? I, I grew up with a, kind of a graffiti or street art background. Kind of, those were some of the first artists I, I kind of noticed around, so it kind of all came from there. Um, I guess the graffiti is he heavily letter-based or character-based, and I kind of gravitated more towards the characters. Um, and in recent years, kind of my style has developed um, to a point where, you know, I, I don't really do graffiti or street art anymore so much, but um, I, I kind of, my studio practice is kind of based off of like um, my anxiety or depression, so the characters kind of fit in with that, kind of as, as either self-portraits or just something more accessible than kind of um, something more abstract, say, right? Mm. And, and how, uh, one thing I noticed about your characters um, is they seem to be compounds of different styles. Uh, like, and that, that, like there's a lot, a lot of different stylistic things in one of your paintings. Like right. there could be a hint of abstract art and there could be a hint of cartoony stuff and there could be a hint of, of other of things going on. How, how, why is it that you go for that compound of, to create your characters? I think, I think normally, uh, Normally my work maybe isn't like that, but for this specific show I was like really experimenting with uh, a lot of materials, uh, trying trying all sorts of different things out. So it kind of a lot of a lot of abstract uh, images came from that, I think. Um, but also I, li I like kind of just the layers and uh, you know adding simple things next to complex things. It's mm. just like visually appealing to me. Mm. So. And well, then I'll just. What's it like working in a large space like this of the graffiti gallery? Uh, it's my first time, really, uh, especially doing like an installation-based project where I'm painting all the walls. You know, doing a 360 kind of everything connected. Um, it's pretty intense. It's, it's labor-intensive. It's nice though. It's nice to have this huge space to do kind of like create the dream. You know, my dream world. It's excellent. <laughs> excellent and. Yeah. And what's your association with the Graffiti Gallery? Uh, currently I'm employed as, uh, with the START program. I do facilitate workshops with youth uh, around the city, making art, uh, zines, you know, paintings, murals, stuff like that. So, yeah. Cool. Um, so how is, uh, how, why is art important to you? Uh, as think, an individual? Per, well, personally, for me, I guess it's kind of uh, almost a coping mechanism for, you know, things, you know, feelings or whatever, as cheesy as that sounds, but I kind of use it as a therapeutic device. Um, it's important to me, and also, you know, it's, uh, it's important to me especially to be working with these youth, too, because it's, you know, it's a positive way of conveying emotion rather than you know, turning to, you know, less savory things like, you know, different criminal activities and stuff. Like, art's like, it's a powerful thing and it's a positive thing, right? Mm. And it can be both of those things. Right, and then uh, as an add-on to that, do you, do you feel, in what way do you think art is important for society as a whole? For society, I mean, I haven't really put too much thought into that, to be honest, but similar, similar issues, you know, it, it conveys emotion, it's powerful, it can move people, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. Without being violent or, right. you know, it can portray violence without being violent. It right, can, exactly. It can, you know, depict history, you know. Someone can go to a, a museum and see, you know, a Van Gogh and break down in tears. Meanwhile, not having any, you know, personal connection to Vincent Van Gogh or, uh, or really knowing what his work's about even, you know? Yeah. So it kind of uni universalizes history, ma you know, makes things from two centuries ago seem like current today. For sure, yeah. And do you hope, like, what, so then what are your, say, after this show, what, do you, what would be some future plans that you might have? For me? Yeah. Um, I'd like to continue having shows like this. I feel like I've, showed, I've shown my work pretty consistently for a decade now, and this is kind of the biggest opportunity I've gotten. So it'd be nice to maybe, you know, take take something like this elsewhere to, to travel with it, maybe find a broader audience beyond, beyond the city. 
Um, yeah, that's about it. Cool. And then and I'll, I'll ask one last question. Uh, what is is working on a small scale on your smaller works that are just you know I see some works that are just you know six by by 18 inches or the murals like you is there a different approach that you do for both or is it roughly the same idea? Uh, I think it's it's pretty much roughly the same. It's just the smaller ones are a lot more delicate, so you know a lot. The murals or the bigger stuff goes a lot faster or. In a way, it goes a lot faster because you're kind of just working with bigger tools and mm. you're just, you know, getting it on there. Whereas the small ones is, you know, more intricate work and you're kind of just taking your time. Yeah. It's, it's a lot harder to get to get precise lines with a smaller brush than it is with like a large brush where you can just kind of right. use your body, your whole body to, you know, connect the line. Yeah. Right. So. And uh, what's the title of the show? The title is Past Conduits. And how did you come up with the title? Um, I kind of just was thinking of like, I kind of draw like a lot of pieces that kind of go into each other or fall off the canvas and create kind of like tunnels and they all can kind of connect to each other, mm. especially with like the series I do, like the paintings that have a certain order. Mm. Um, and I was just, I was thinking, you know, a lot of the, these paintings were inspired by like, memories I have from my childhood, like specific toys or TV programs I would watch. Um, so it's kind of just like, you know, a little trip into the past almost. You know? So the paintings can stand alone, but also be put together and, and communicate with each other. Right, exactly. Like, uh, you could have, you know, one of, one of these paintings hanging in your, in your house and it would maybe have a completely different context than it would with, you know, all of them to get, like all of the ones in the series and then all of the ones in the show, right? Mm. So it's, there's different levels. Nice. Yeah. Uh, any last uh, comments you can say that we haven't touched on? Uh, I don't know, I'm just really excited to be in this gallery. It's, uh, it's a dream of mine when I was a kid to one day show here and it's pretty exciting that it's actually happening. So, yeah. <laughs> really look forward to it. So okay. just maybe tell me a bit about your characters and your paintings and uh, how did they come about? Uh, I think they, they developed kind of over a series of years, probably like 10 years I've been working on them. Um, more recently, they've kind of, they kind of represent self-portraits, uh, almost kind of non-traditional self-portraits. Um, but I just, they kind of like, you know, bizarre looking things. So I try and you know, make a variety of bizarre looking characters and, you know, there's there's the staples, like the ones that reoccur throughout the paintings, but I try and, I also do like a series called Monsters Wearing Shirts and that's, um, they're always different, so I've probably done like thousands and thousands of different looking characters. And why do you call them self-portraits? <laughs> um, well, originally, I guess when I started painting this style, like several years ago, um, I kind of, you know, found something I felt comfortable with painting and I was kind of working with what I, I knew um, rather than, you know, and at that time it was kind of, everyone was kind of doing self-portraits and I wanted to kind of be included, but didn't, didn't really want to paint realistically. It just was kind of boring to me. And so, yeah. Huh. <laughs> and what's it like working in such a giant space as the graffiti gallery? Uh, it's, it's pretty intense. I've had quite a bit of help from, from, uh, employees here and stuff and friends coming in and painting for me but I it's it's a big big thing to take on I don't think I could do it by myself like yeah it's been it's like surreal wow. <laughs> I'm still wrapping my head around it but yeah uh, and um, you were mentioning another time that your paintings communicate kind of they can stand on their own or they communicate with each other and can you explain a bit about that um, yeah for sure I think like the process for my paintings uh, starts out like maybe I'll do five pieces at once um, and they all kind of connect with each other and kind of have you know their own dialogue that way or uh, you know a certain flow to them um, but you take one of those out and you know it could be s interpreted or seen in a completely different way hmm. right so hmm. yeah. who, who would you say would be some influences on you some influences uh, I think Probably like my earliest memory of art is like, you know, my mom trying to bring me to the art gallery and you know show me a Van Gogh painting or something. And of course I was like a kid and wasn't, you know, I had trouble 
being interested in that. Um, so I think the first accessible art I really got into was there's like a street art crew from Winnipeg called Two Six, and I, s I started seeing their stuff maybe around like seven or eight, around seven or eight, and it was just weird. I didn't really understand it, and um, it just I got super interested in graffiti around then, and yeah. Hmm. And what's your connection with the graffiti gallery itself? Uh, I guess I've been coming here for since I was young, like you know, in my teens, coming here for shows and workshops and whatnot. Um, but I've been employed as a, a, through the START program doing workshops with youth um, for about two and a half, three years now. So uh, that's where I'm at now with the mm. gallery, yeah. <laughs>